Hey there viewers, my name is Terensky and welcome back to another more impromptu session of the DCSS tournament here. As our stream title might suggest today, we are just going to be on for a lot shorter than usual, but I definitely wanted to uh, hop back on to our lovely hill arc here and get some more progress. We are definitely too late to make the Nebulex choice points, but at the end of the day, the clan still doesn't have any rankings in the PD department for BO, so if I could become a champion of BO up to 6 PD and get a win, that's still a decent amount of points on the board, and sets us up for maybe one last streak victory before the end of the tournament, depending on how much time we get in. Maybe we can even get more than that if we're fortunate. But at the end of the day, let's prepare ourselves to jump in here. And hey, hey, what? How's it going? Hope you're having a fantastic day here. Let's see where we left off. We were just training up the last bit of shields here, trying to make it so we could wear our current kite shield. We also are still in relatively light armor because we wanted to be able to cast spells fairly frequently, not completely give up on our ice elementals back at, uh, background and play a little bit of that. I might be talking a little bit weird today because about an hour before I got on stream today, I bit my cheek really badly while eating some pasta. <laughs> So I'm definitely starting to feel it as I'm starting to talk a bit more, but should be all good. And hopefully I don't have too much of a, a twisted tongue as we try and go about speaking our mind here. But we had a bit of a, a wild ride at the end of our last time playing as this character. Definitely had a very near-death experience. And uh, it scared me off from going down to Shoals again. And then after surviving that, going on for another 10 minutes, we unfortunately led a couple of our, our brave friends to their demise, which is definitely unfortunate. We may have to dip down into orc sometime soon here in order to just uh, replenish the group a little bit here. But I'm trying to decide how much of a rush I am to do that because on the other hand of things, I think I want to explore Snake a wee bit next year. And the thing about Snake is unless I can start gifting orcs things, I don't really want to bring any of them in there with us. Poison becomes really dangerous for our followers, and it's a sad way to see them go, watching them waste away in front of our very eyes. So, maybe we'll go make some friends, but we'll make sure to leave them out, and maybe go explore the, bit, uh, the starting bit of Snake on our own. So, you know what, let's commit to that for the time being and head over to orc here. And yeah, I seem fine. That's good. God, I'm at least talking normally. I can definitely feel it. <laughs> and lost your octopus on Snake 4. That's sorry to hear for sure, but hey, at least they made it that far. Were you ever able to buy the uh, jewelry from those shops? Or was that uh, a thing that you must leave around for the future? Or for the next adventure that goes down there, even though that's not really how the game works. Yeah, sorry to hear about the unfortunate fate of your octopod, but definitely survived longer than we thought they would, hey? <laughs> I was actually feeling really strong. You had a decent selection of rings and spells. Yes, well, that's always the uh, the saddest moments. When they are so promising, but maybe the next one will make it. Right, that's always the, the dream at the very least. Nice. Got some friends here right away, so I think I will grab them and just tell them to wait around here for the time being. And we will leave them alone. We did regain our ability to recall our followers, and that's why I wanted to get some followers. Even if I'm going to be leaving them behind, it could be really nice to have them as a bit of a panic button. Call in a bunch of friends, clog the way. It's not ideal. We don't want to send Boghold and his two new best friends to their death, but we'll see how it goes, of course. It was, you didn't have our poison, but had no trouble one to three, and then it was a single enemy that took you out. Just max roll bolt of venom two times, three hits total killed you. Jeez, yeah. It's definitely, it's always a rough time trying to get through those uh, snake or spider without any resistance to poison. Possible, but definitely can be a bit of a pain in the butt. I also wanted to look up axes, see if we missed any enchanted axes or, ooh, a broad axe. Definitely another one. Ah, but it's inside of a cage. Okay, so I didn't totally just miss out on this completely on my own. It looks to be a bit more of an appropriate mistake. Let's see, what is here? Wyvern. Oops, geez. Pressing a bunch of buttons at the same time there. This might actually be a vault we can take. 
Black Mamba Simulacrum. Oh, Dire Elephant. Still counts as easy, but has a lot of potential damage. Do I have any source of cold resistance? Don't think- oh, I have a Ring of Ice on me. So we can get at least one pip. It's fine, if I... RC plus, there was also that shop. I can probably afford this ring too now, right? Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit more housekeeping before we go, but I think it'll be worth it. Oh, hey! Right, it's right there. Never mind, that works out great. Not even an issue. Um, hmm. Only have enough for one of you special rings, hey? Check out our jewelry again. I think I'm wearing a ring of willpower now. I am. Hmm. Don't necessarily want to take that off, especially going into Snake. There are some problematic targets there that will cast random crap on us. Would almost be nice to get up to three pips of willpower, which would mean buying this ring here. Hmm. Do I want to lose four AC? It's nice having that AC ring around, but. We'll have to change it out eventually. The question just becomes, which of these do I want to change it out for? I feel like I might actually go for the will and intelligence. And we will maybe just use that one ring of ice hip in order to try and clear through that vault. Most of the simulacrum should go down in decent order. I don't have great scrolls to deal with them, I guess. We could scroll of immolate and then try and throw something. That might actually kind of work. I would love to find myself with a broad axe this early on. So in fact, I think I will buy this. It can at least replace our willpower ring, even if we don't end up really craving the uh, the three pips of willpower the entire time. But for now, let's replace our ring of protection with that. We will then, let's go to layer two, shall we? Take another look at this vault, maybe in person, see if it's any less scary once we get there in front of it. Hey friends, what are we dealing with here? Seven-headed Hydra. You still deal 18 damage, 14 damage per hit. Oh, and extra cold damage. That's really rough. Oh my gosh, that's absolutely brutal. Even with one pip or even two pips of resistance to cold. 39 extra cold damage per bite. Oof. Why did I never pause and look at an... Uh, Hydra Simulacrum before. For whatever reason, I always assumed that they were chump change. Maybe should have been a bit more careful with those in the past. Turns out I've just gotten very lucky or something. Always had at least a little bit of cold resistance, I guess, but it's not a horrible fight. We could always back up and they will start to bleed around a bit, but if we're able to slay them fairly quickly, that should be okay. Guess I kind of need to decide on a plan though. Do I want to go with the immolation route? Or do I want to go a bit more traditional here? First, let's get that ring of ice before I forget to give myself resistance. Let's also maybe drop some stuff out from our inventory because right now we're a little full to carry everything out of this vault and ideally we don't really want to go traveling through it again just because there is a lot of uh, potential cold damage Coming down on top of our heads, Staff of Fire can go, Amulet of the Acrobat can go for now. What else? Polymorph Wand, why the heck not? Perfect, that's definitely enough spaces to do this. I think I'm gonna commit early on here. Let's either die right away or make it through in one piece, shall we? And let's see. So rare blood we could use in order to gain some nice slain bonuses. Ozukubus will almost definitely use for some extra armor. Animate armor. Still don't quite get how that spell works. Let's try it out. Oh, okay, I don't have to take off my armor. I was worried that I lost my armor or something like that, but... An animated ring mail can hit twice for up to 17 damage each. 48 health, that's not too bad. Immune to poison and negative energy. Ooh, not... As immune to uh, cold, eh? So that's a nice distraction to keep these buddies busy. And in fact, oh geez, <laughs> never mind. It dies right away. Even just to you, huh? 
that's rough. What I was thinking there is we could have scroll of immolation and then use our animated armor in order to uh, trigger the explosions. That would have been quite interesting. But instead, it's looking like it will be just us here. So let's wear blood. Oof, everyone's coming around, hey? As a Kubu's armor. So just two wyverns, not too bad. Black Mamba's not scared of that. Anaconda is a bit scarier, especially since they're still able to constrict, hey? And then the Yak Simulacrum is somewhere here. There's that bad boy, that should be fine, right? Yeah, absolutely harmless, perfect. Okay, what other options do we have here? Just to double check, Pile of Floods, not gonna be great. Don't think I wanna immolate then, I feel like I, that's how I end up killing myself by accident. We could teleport, or we could just, right now, quaff down a quick potion of resistance, give ourselves a little bit of extra cold resistance here, and then let's start fighting. Get some slay bonuses going right away. That's one, that's two, not too bad. And then I'm kind of saving the, uh, the Hydra for last if possible. So I'm trying to attack the ones beside me in order to just reduce the number of targets we're dealing with at the same time. So again, that Hydra is gonna be quite rough. And there we go, this is actually a nice situation because I can soften both of these buddies up with some acid on charges. And in fact, let's just blast him again, shall we? Ooh, and you're real close to dead. I don't know if I want to spend even a single turn letting you target me. I'm guessing paralysis, oh, 49%. That's actually pretty good. But let's check instead damage on some of these wands and stuff. 100% chance to hit with our Wand of Acid. I think that that's better, if I had to guess. Perfect. And we can double check. No other monsters, perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to see. I will heal up here, even though we're losing a little bit of elemental resistance. I think that pays off in the long run. And awesome, let's grab this broad axe, grab the Scarf of Resistance, love to see it. And even a plus two cloak of poison resistance. I think that might be better than what we're currently wearing. Do we just have a nice standard cloak? Heck yeah, bud. Let's put that on right away. And that does actually allow us to potentially change up our armor choice as well. Pick up the Staff of Conjuration, even if we don't plan on using it, just to get it the heck out of there. And that is a very nice boost to power here. The Broad Axe, which we'll start using right away. I'll even drop my current axe. As well as a couple more AC points from that uh, cloak there. Scarf of Resistance if we need colder fire resistance in the near future here. Let's drop all those sons of guns. Go back into our inventory. Let's definitely equip this broad axe. So you want to go up to 18 for min delay. We can actually turn that on now and I'll just leave it as unfocused and let that slowly but surely creep up. And I should also make sure we equip that axe. Awesome. And then next, and last but not least, we can head back up to these items here, re-pick up anything that we'll want to continue carrying around. I guess, right, maybe this plus four ring mail is a bit more intriguing now. And see how our AC compares with that, and honestly the rest of that crap can just stay lying around for the time being. Don't think we'll see any hydras in Snake. Not usually at the very least. But, let's see, if we go to this ring mail, AC increases by two putting this on. We lose nine mana points, which isn't horrible, but then a 16, which means just a few casts. The only problem with that is we've been limited in our ability to use uh, icy ramparts. What's that spell I actually called? Frozen ramparts, that's it. Uh, we've been limited due to the fact that we didn't want to take out any of our allied orcs, but since we're not taking them into Snake, we could use this to good effect and slow down all the reptiles around us too. So I do potentially want slightly more mana points or magic points in this next small section of the game than I otherwise might. So instead of just putting that armor on right away, I'm going to do a quick search of armor, see if we can't find anything slightly better enchanted in some way, and if that's just in terms of overall AC. Doesn't look like it, eh? 
is going ring mail in a shop, but I'm kind of saving up money again to try and buy that other fancy dancy ring that we left behind. Hmm. Maybe we'll just stay in what we're wearing. Oh, right. Definitely want to change out my ring before I totally forget to and have a weakness to fire here. Let's get rid of that ring of ice. Well, let's go to the top of Snake. We can at least dip our heads in as per usual here. Do have a lot of cold damage and luckily snakes are also slow. So we should be able to get the heck out of here if things start to go sour. Oh, hello, friend. If you would like to come visit us here, that would be absolutely fantastic. We can icy ramparts. Ooh, you do have a pole arm. It's a bit of a pain in the butt. What do we wish to do there? We could animate our armor. Oh no, that's not great. Hello, friend. Let's maybe try that again. Do you want, we'll even trade spots with you. Is my armor not being affected by my ramparts? That's interesting. It is not indeed. Is ramparts not hurt friends? I didn't think that that's how that spell worked. I thought that it definitely provided collateral, and I'm not willing to test it on my orc buddies, because B.O. would not be happy about that. But, as long as it's just my own armor that's at risk, I don't mind trying that out whatsoever. In fact, let's make sure to cast that at each and every opportunity here in order to give us a little bit more damage on the go here. Hello, friend. It took so long for them just to walk up to us, but... Definitely. Oh, right. Shock serpents are a thing. That's that's important. Um, let's break line of sight. Should have stayed closer to some walls while also making sure to not be at risk of uh, letting a bad bounce get to us. Let's see. How much damage do you do with that? 3d13. So we're looking at 39 max. Good to know. What else do I potentially want to do here? Can I paralyze you? 28% chance. I'm going to try it a couple times here as we wait for them to approach. Ramparts up. Still not one hit away from death, even though it's getting close. Oof, and in fact, maybe too close now that I think about it. So. Oh my gosh, am I going to lose the character this early on? I thought that I had at least one more potion of healing. Definitely used all those very recently here, so... What I want to do here is probably a potion of resistance to give us some temporary Arlek. What I should have done is really switched into that armor. I forgot that there was electric and or there were electric enemies in this section of the game. It would have been smart of me to do something about that. Down to one health. Oh. <laughs> and just like that. It's that easy, folks. <laughs> Throw it all away. Oh, so sad, so sad. <laughs> oh, and that's what I get for rushing into it. It's always the first little bit of a stream where I'm still not quite in the piloting mood. I'm not being nearly cautious enough or thinking through my actions. Just in a rush here, but that's all good. It's all part of this lovely game. And hey, we're already too late for the Nemelix choice, right? So what's the, the harm in starting over again here? <laughs> 